Hello class, uh, this is Mr. McAllen again and uh, the purpose of this video is to just give you a quick uh, view of how to graph some piecewise functions. Um, some people in class are making some um, silly mistakes when they were working on this and I just want to put this in video just so that it can help you review for the short quiz we have for tomorrow. So we'll start off with the first one and um, remember that because we have these two functions the top one will be the left function and the bottom one will be the right if we have three functions the order will be uh, the top will be the left the uh, middle function will be the center function and the last function will be the right according to the convention that's used for graphing piecewise so what we need to do is just make a table and for the first function we would like to plot two values because it's a line and we're going to plot a value to the left of four and that'll be zero would be fine and we want to plot four because that's where our line would end with an open circle the open circle is because there is not an equal sign it's just less than four so when we plug in zero into this function we get zero and we plug in four into this function we get one so when we plot that you're going to have a point at zero zero and you're going to have a point at uh, four one and that will be an open circle so we'd like to connect those two points and we draw the function to the left because our first function is our leftmost function. The next function is x minus 3 so I'm going to put 4 into that function and I'm going to put maybe another value greater than or greater than 4 and I'll put uh, 6 in. So when I put that in I get 1 for my y coordinate and I get 3 for my other y coordinate so when I plot this I'm at um, Oop, I made a mistake with the first one. This should be 2, so let me correct this. This open circle should be at 2. My apologies. Uh, and it went through 0, 0. So now, so that line is correct for the left function. Uh, the next point would be at 4, 1. And then we would be at uh, 6, 3 and I'm going to plot that line to the right. So that would be the correct um, graph of this piecewise function. Next one we have, um, we're going to have three pieces so I'm going to make a table and I'll make sure I uh, fill in the proper values. I'm just going to pause it while I do it and you can, when I come back you could Okay, I'm back. I want to just uh, make my table and I have put the points on that I'm going to plot for the left function, for the center function, and for the right function. And what I want to point out to you is that when you ever have a middle function and it's linear, you're going to use um, the two values that they give you as your x values, because those will be the endpoints for that function, or the x values for the endpoints. So when we put a negative 2 into this function, we get 2 for the left one. When we put a negative 1 into that function, we get 1, and remember that's going to be an open circle. So I'm going to plot those points, negative 2, 2, and negative 1, 1, and that'll be open, and this one will carry on to the left. The next function I use negative 1 again, and I use 2, but this function is a constant function. No matter what I put in, I always get negative 2. So I'm going to plot the point at negative 1, but I'm going to be down here at um, negative 2, and that'll be filled in. And the other point will be at 2, negative 2, and that's just going to be a horizontal line. And the last point is going to be at 2, comma 3. I'm sorry, it's going to be at, when I plug in 2, it's going to give me a value of 4. And when I put in 3, I'm going to get a value of 6. So I will put in, when I put in 2, it's going to give me, oh, and this one right here, that should be an open circle because the last point did not have an equal to sign. So when I plot these last two points, I'm at 2, comma 4, and then I'm at 3, comma 6, and when I connect them, that carries on to the right. So that would be the correct function for that one. Now I'm just going to do one more function for practice and uh, for tomorrow's quiz, and that would be this three uh, function piecewise. So I'm just going to pause it again so I can set up my table, and then I'll be back. 
All right, here we are. We're back again, and we're going to do one more problem. We're going to do um, a three-piece piecewise, and I'm going to just make a table and list out the values. So for the first function, I'm going to choose a value less than or equal to negative 2. So I'm going to choose negative 4, and when I plug that in, I'll have 3 minus negative 4, and that will give me 7. When I plug in negative 2, which will be a solid circle, um, that will give me 5. I'm going to use negative 2 again, and when I plug that into the second function, I get negative 4, and that will be open. And I'm going to use the other endpoint of 3, since it's a line, why not? So I'm going to plug in 3, and I'll have 6 for that value of the function. And the last part is when I plug in 3 with an open circle, no matter what I plug in, I'm always going to get the value 5. So the answer for this one, as we plot it, will be as follows. Notice that first one goes to the left. Testing, okay, we sell volume, just want to make sure. And the next one will have an open circle at uh, negative 2, negative 4. And that will be connected to three at point at 3, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the last value will be uh, at 3. It's going to be open, but I'm going to value a 5. And it will always be open as you go that way. I mean, always be the same value as you go to the right. So that would be how you plot the last function. I'm going to finish up this worksheet, and I will post a final solution to this worksheet for everyone to view. But that was a sample of doing three problems. Hope this video helped, and we'll see you tomorrow for the quiz.